folks, welcome to Gosford Forest here, down in um, County Armagh. Uh, just come down into the wee, the wee gate down the, the bottom there, and that's where you pay. You pay five pound in here, Gosford Forest. Don't know if you can see that there, but so it's a wee fiver, a wee ticket, and you leave that on your dashboard. So um, I'll give you a look around a wee second, but as you can see from the car, you'll not be short of uh, something to eat and wee coffee bar and stuff, and wee ice cream we ice cream things and uh, food and stuff so um, it's well set up there's a kids park just over that side it's so family orientated so there's we park over there and the trails enter over there and then exit back over that side so I'm just going to get myself the gear here I want to clean down the this on this on this here um, wee hardtail and uh, give it give the change of pods over I'm going to put a set of brand new pods but I'm going to put one pod in the front, one pod in the back, just to try and get the brakes a wee bit better because they were stinking at Mary Peters our last week. So um, I'll see you when I'm driving in that trail. Hey folks, this is the start of a wee trail here, I think. This wee archway. And then uh, just come in through this wee buyer. If I can remember rightly, there's a wee pump track over to the right. So uh, I'll go over there and give you a wee look at the pump track. It's just here somewhere. Yeah, here it is here. Bounce over that speed thing now. Might as well have a wee go around about them here, eh? Not too good and all this shit, but I suppose I may practice it. Have a lot easier on a hard hill than it is on a false sus. Right, so. No fat for me. Hey right, folks, so completely went the wrong way here, so I had to turn around back at myself and back around past the wee pump track again. You know, and uh head in this direction so I think what I'm doing is I'm following the black arrows here. I hope like I say it's very vague. It gives you I'll just give you a wee show here. It gives you green thing and a black aura but I'm not sure what the black aura means so I'll just follow follow the black aura right, so I'm guessing this is black aura this way is for a green trail one end of the right here got a blue bike under it with a black arrow so taking that's a blue trail now there's I don't think there's any red I think it's more family based so I'll follow the, the blue here right so a wee bit of climbing involved there so just get up the wee hill This guy actually passed me on the claim up. So. Just give me something to chase. Right, so folks, out today on the wee hard tail again, with no dropper seat, so just do my best to try and reel, reel all the berms, the arse stick, seat sticking up the arse, so what I do with a car, there's lovely, some lovely wee bits of flow in this wee, this wee track, and this is one we always, we always do this here at night, with the lights and all, which is, it's just going out crack. There's a whole different feel to the place when you're when you're riding at night on. Oh, we slider. Here we go. We've got a flow, hopefully. 
the folks, what we're doing in here is just a wee hard here. Like we have tires, don't have to be high grip. Don't have to be big, big thick tires, but by all means, if you want to just get their fitness up, do a lot of padding on big heavy tires, knock yourselves out. So here we go, we drop. So I'm running. Lower we drop. We double. Get you cleared. Lower we drop. It's the same. If you stay right then, they're not as far. But if you stay where they left, that's where it raises up. It's a bit of a nuisance having that seat as high up as it is. But, what do you do? Son of a soul is then changed it. Some of my berms in here are class. Fitness. You need a good level of fitness, I'd say. To make a most of them. So, I don't know if you can see in the second field back there. All the reindeers in the field, and I think there's one or two stags there. Well, there's a few more antlers, don't know if they're stags or not. So, if you're coming up with the kids or whatever, plenty of good walking. So, we're just going to be heading into the left. Folks, I'll give you a wee quick bike check off the wee, uh, the wee hardtail. What it is, you mayn't be able to see, but it's a nuke proof scout. Now, Gad owned it, I bought it off, and Dominic used to live next door to me. It was originally a, like a yellowy green colour but he says when he was at work it was getting too much attention and he was scared of somebody nicking it so he just painted this mad basic black colour so I got the bike off him complete except for a set of wheels and these set of wheels are WTBs STI 23s which came standard with the Vetus Summit which as you know I, you've seen me out on and I give it to Dara so hasn't got the dropper post on the minute which is getting put on the ore cranks were new proof paddles uh, Dior single pots or double pots, rear caliper, matched up. This one's an SLX. Right. How's it going? Oh, he's dead on, man. Do the wee bike check. <laughs> and then it's just a du Dior on a thing. Thanks, anyway. Um, Rock Shacks Revelation, forks, one, 130 mil, 130s. Um, Rental grips, which are pretty, pretty good, but hard grip. Uh, Ragley. Ragley bars matched up with a Ragley stem. Uh, say WTB Vigilante 2.3 high grip tough carcass on the front. Pretty grippy, but for 2.3 I thought they would have been a bit wetter. I actually changed them off when I was running them. I didn't really fancy them in in enduro conditions, but for in here it's plenty. Um, 160mm rotors front and back, these are a bit contaminated at the minute, that's why you're hearing the, hearing the squealing. It's got one up component, 32 tooth front chain ring, which if any of us watched the Mary Peters, it actually all came loose on me last week. Shimano Z, short cage, derailleur at the back, it's also got the clutch mechanism on it too, so works pretty well. 10 speed, so once this is Done. I'm going to change it up to an 11 speed with a 30 tooth on the front and that'll give me a better claiming, claim range. Got the uh, stealth dropper post which has to be fitted. It'll be getting taken off the Vetus once I get once I get the rack shack reverb which is on the Vetus once I get that surfaced and put back on. So it'll be getting in through the frame down and up through the seat, up through the tube. So this come off Mark Dara's bike. So that's it. Uh, bone trudger die young on the back. I got myself killed and Ross Travers on one of these in the front. Don't attempt to do it because it'll not give you any, any warning, it'll just have you off. So, that was my experience with it. So, I think that's it. Just to be, be quick, like over the bike while I'm getting a breather. So, just going to drop in this next bit. Travelings. So I forget where all the good parts is, these trails are. Burmy section, so just 
leave the camera rolling for a few minutes. Probably just as easy to cut bits out as it is to keep starting, starting the, the thing and having to download multiple uh, sections of it. So as I was saying earlier on, if it was around here at night time rain, in here it's only, I think it was just an hour, an hour away from the house. I live in Belfast, North Belfast, so an hour just say slightly more, so it's not that far away. It was like a night time rain. Got a few satellites on from down here during the winter. And I know they do, they run uh, like dog sled racing in here, so you just have to be careful when nights you come down. Because uh, you'd have them. I have lemons flying through here, but I like huskies pulling the, pulling the big carts for weeds on them. I think this is a wee fluid section again, folks. Clip the paddle off the ground there <laughs> in the corner. I was like, I was like scraping your boot when you're on a motorbike. Trying to keep on mad on going paddling on the brakes, sir. And I'm blessed here, folks. I keep, keep a heart rate down. Whoa. I had to lock her up. Keep a heart rate down, but can't keep a flow. I'm talking at the same time, so not the most easiest. Plus, trying a corner with you. You can't get moving the bag on or you. But, live it. A wee table tap. I mean a wee one. Nice wee berm. Not as nice as the berms you get. Right, so, we better claim and involved there. You can probably hear me breathing, but must be coming to near the end. So, just gonna let the camera run through the whole lot. I can't really remember much of this. I think across the North Fire Road here. So, folks, I've tried to bring this. Just whatever flow this wee place has, eh? It's not for the thrill seeker, it's not for the enduro rider. But if you're in the XC, if you're just into your fitness, if you want to bring your kids to get them to learn how to do wee drop offs and stuff, or if it's for yourself and you're looking to learn how to do drops, I would say, first of all, if you're not that most comfortable on a bike, they're probably only a foot, foot and a half, so. If you went out in the street or even built a wee ramp and just learned how to pop off them. If you're a kid, you've probably done it already. If you're an adult, you've probably done it as a kid. So I would say just go out and have a wee go in the street before you come here. Because the last thing you want to do is get lifted out of here, is it? After jumping off a wee ramp. So uh, go and practice and then come down here and then put, it, put that practice into, into use. Because there is a wee bit of flow and then you'll just come around the corners and so we be we hop off and if you get them right you'll you'll enjoy yourself but for the more experienced rider nighttime probably be the best i'd say so i'm just doing it for my fitness and i've sat in the house all well i worked till tuesday then i was off wednesday thursday friday so i never got out wednesday or thursday and everybody else started back to work so i'm on my own and just thought i'd come down here for a wee spin and get it on camera and just show people because there is people out there that only starting off like I have people on Instagram stuff girls, boys they're all just starting in the mountain taking and uh, some of them don't even know how to change the tube so and I do that, most of us are all running aren't running tubes, we're all tubeless now with fluid in our things but some people still have tubes in them and if they're only beginners they don't know how to change them, so I'm going to do a wee how-to video on that. So, 
Ah, it is what it is, isn't it? So today I'm running 25 PSI on that front tire at WTB. Where's an Abbey? It's a 2.3 and the bone tires are a 2.3 on the back. And it's around 30 odds on it, 33 I think. Where about? You can feel all the bumps. There's a way to get to skip leave, but for in here I'm not gonna worry about it. If I was doing more enduro bait stuff, I wouldn't be. I'd run 20, 20 PS down the front. So folks, if you're still watching me, watching this vlog, or watching me, I'm reading. But uh Go ahead and give us a wee subscriber if you like it and a wee thumbs up just click on the wee the wee button there and hit the wee bell icon as well and that'll notify any any up and coming vlogs like I said earlier I think this might be in my 40 seconds so there's loads on there to go and have a wee watch to especially if you're if you're still out of work give you something to do if you're bored shitless so Hopefully no cursing on this one today. The Tallymore had it coming out this Sunday. You'll hear a bit of it. So if you've got kids <laughs> and you want to watch it, I put the PG rating on it. Just to be very F and then we had a couple of wee moments, shall we say. And again, there's no point even saying that because it'll be out now before this goes out. <laughs> Darn it. But just in case you see this one first. So, this is coming to the end. I think there's a wee bit of flow up here. Back to the car park and that's me done. I don't think I have it in me. It would bore me shitless to go and do a normal. So, but, but night time, like I say, very, very good valet so it gives a whole different dimension to the place. Feels fast and that's grippy. And you get that mist and all, so it just adds the experience on it. Plus, using a hardtail, so that stage should be a bit fitter. And this, this place here, it's just all paddling. There is a wee bit of flow, but don't be getting. Because you see this, and I'm not going to show it all, you will be paddling, folks. Just the hills are climbers, but as you can hear me breathing, it's enough to keep a heart rate up. My ass is killing me on this seat, getting bumped about the ground off. I'm feeling the arse cheeks tightening up in it. Right, so here's a few wee barns, we'll have a flow on. So remember, get that outside paddle out when you're hitting the enemy currents. That'll help push your, push your bike into the deck. So, if you're in this, your left, left foot down and then, and then right foot down, like that. We jump her. Or we pop her. Left foot down again. Right foot down. Left foot down, right foot down. Left foot down. Just helps you take that bacon down the ground. Fools, you don't know. And it works. Even better on flat corners. These are burned, so they sort of help you around. But flat corners with no berms, if you get that outside paddle down, it'll help you through it. Some of you probably sitting there going, talk and shake you. But it works for me. So I'm just putting it out there for the experience reader. An illustrator. I would call myself intermediate. I'm no expert. I can get down some some gnarly stuff, but I'm just a really run on mill, average person, average dude. Right foot down, uh -huh. and the left foot down again. Pushing that back into the back. Right foot down, in the back in. Always looking around the corner for the exit, folks. Point your nose where you want the bike to go. And look well ahead of yourself. 
could be looking at your front wheel big mistake because there was an obstacle on down you'll see it when you're looking well ahead you'll not see it when it's at your front wheel until it's too late so folks that's it so what I think of it just doing a wee outro now I've probably already managed and it's just nice nice to get out a wee bit of flow a wee bit of climbing it's just back sea folks but brilliant if you want to bring your kids if you're just getting them into it 100% the fact is bringing my wee grandson here you know my eldest but well it's not too old to bring him out here like, but he's 13 so I've already had my tax allowance and stuff which is uh, a bit more technical in this place so you probably wouldn't learn that much but if I bring my wee grandson out when he's old enough I would start him here so that's it the end